Hey everyone, welcome to match 1 of 4 of Is It Dragons. Playing against Mardu Midrange. Deck Tech was posted this morning, so check it out. There's a link in the description of this video. If you want to learn more about this deck, and of course, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and that like button down below. It uh, really goes a long way in helping others find my channel, the YouTube algorithm. So thank you for your support. So we had the mulligan here, and the 6 that we kept was... Not the best, not the best. And a, and a thought sees turn one on top of it is just brutal. Very, very brutal. We do have two ops that were, you know, gonna allow us to scry here a bit and hopefully run into some proper answers. Blood Moon is okay. If we just drew another land, it's just adding insult to injury here. So not the best first game. Not the best few turns. First few turns, I should say. Let's see what's coming up. Alright, well. It's almost as if they're sensing the Blood Moons. Because they're going for basics. Kind of need Crackling Drake, so... I feel like we need to take care of Monastery Mentor before it becomes a problem. There we go. Got rid of the Blood Moon, drew some better cards. Sure, sure, Vindicate, that's a thing. Counterspell would have been useful there. They got nothing. Well, I'm concerned and okay with that at the same time. Yeah, just kind of screwed myself there. <laughs> I'm almost certain I was going for Crackling Drake. But fine. Graveyard Hate doesn't really bother me. Okay, so Lightning Bolt and Spire Buff Canal. Yeah, considering I got screwed out of a land, a land there. My voice keeps cracking still, almost eight months after that cold, so. Okay, well, Nahiri is going bye-bye. Did not expect to see Nahiri here, but okay. Slightly concerning if I've misread what this deck was, but no, it ends up being Marta mid range. Glorybringer. Let's start smacking face. Crackling Drake is going to be a 5 4, which is fantastic. Let's see what they got. Now that we've got a big boy, and more big boys are coming. Okay, and another Nahiri. Sure, I mean, they're probably going to exile Glorybringer. That's okay, we're going to bolt her now. Or we're not, because we got... <laughs> Our Steam Bats was destroyed, I forgot about that. Um, which means... Yeah, this is brutal. That Vindicate really, really screwed us here. It's okay. Inquisition, not going to get anything, but they know what's coming. There we go, we got no more fetchable lands, which is fantastic. More scarily, we have no more red sources. Well, I might have a spare, oh, we do have Spire Bluff now and Sulphur Falls, but by the time we get them. We do another, another Crackling Drake, which is now 6-4, which is fantastic. There goes Lightning Bolt. Really curious what the two cards in hand are. Counter spell is not bad. I welcome that draw. And an Archmage's Charm. Fantastic. Well, here we go. Next turn is a kill. Uh, 
I would say 90-10 in our favor right now. Yeah, cool. Awesome. We won. We won with a weak, weak, weak start. <laughs> Mulligan to six, week six, and the thought sees taking away our creature or potential creature, our little nest egg. But we got back. I don't think Blood Moon's going to be worth it. I mean, the cat's out of the bag here. They seem to function well with basics, so. This is a very tempting hand to keep. Yeah, definitely don't want to go down to five against the deck that plays discard. So we're just going to take the tempo hit. Force of Negation is nice. If we counter a spell that's not Inquisition or Thoughtseize. Ideally, we save it for Nahiri or some whatever other hell our opponent decides to throw at us. We are down to one land, though, which is uh, brutal. Okay, that's beautiful. I mean, that's great. I mean, it would... It would be nice to hit our second land drop, and we did. Everything feels better when you have Force of Negation, right? Okay, so here's Thought Seize. I, I'm going to let it through. I feel like I'm at this point, I'm just take what you think. There's a lot of cards. More than one is useful, so we have a better chance of screwing up as well. Expressive Iteration, sure. That probably was a good one. But I'm just going to play Smoldering Egg here and just have Force of Negation as protection. Keeping in mind, Force of Negation will not count towards Smoldering Egg if I cast it on our opponent's turn. But still. Alright, let's see. They're not doing too well with lands either. Prismatic Ending. Tempting, but looks like I let it go. I mean, I, I am playing the control deck here. We're playing the control strategy, so I can wait. Even if I'm not hitting my land drops, I can wait. Got a counter spell in hand. You're not going to resolve anything that you want to resolve here. And I got two ops. I'm good. Yes, please. Need more lands. Yes, please, actually. I'll take that. Okay, another land. So you see here, we just have to wait. Especially as our, as our opponent keeps missing land drops. I mean, and I'm like, okay. Probably play Memory Deluge end of turn here. I'm going for Stevens because I don't want to get Vindicated again. <laughs> Although I, I technically, technically have an answer for Vindicate. Crackling Drake and another Memory Deluge seems to be the obvious choices. Cool. Should've kept that Steam Vents up, but whatever. Should've kept it up for a Lightning Bolt, but okay. I guess at this point, I'm feeling pretty good. Sure, Terminate. Yeah, I don't want to deal with the Greg Souls at the moment. Hey, they got their third land. Nothing's going to resolve, but they got it. Sure. Got a lightning bolt for you. Glorybringer and Crackling Drake. I think that's the right call. Oh. 
Quirminers. There were now. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Three permission spells in hand. Two mana up. Feeling pretty good. Okay, our opponent's finally drawing into their lands here. Will it be enough is the question. Uh, yeah, I don't have any more removal. Don't want to deal with that. Although in theory I could have just let it go and... Okay, now I get the removal, which is kind of funny. I could have let it go and just exerted Glorybringer, but... I made the call. Now it's fine. I mean, if they play it again, we have Kozak's return. Yeah, I have to respond to that. I am slowly but surely running out of permission spells, though, so... Gotta make this end soon. I think if my math is right, I could cast Deluge from the graveyard here and scry for seven. It's not really scry, but you know what I mean. Sure, you got me. I am about to look at seven cards, so odds are I can find a creature in there. I hilariously do not. Archmage's Charm and Bolt. It's fine. We got rid of a lot of lands there. And another bolt. Well, I could just kill you this way. Let's just wait. Sure. Cool. There we go. Again, I got all the time I need. Cool. Tempting to cast Deluge, but I need my, I need my mana, so. Expected them to cast Angering Souls from their graveyard. They did not. I'm actually not sure why I pulled the trigger there. I, I figured they're going to cast Angering Souls. I'm going to force it. Or counter it. This doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's going to be protected. They better be careful. Nope. Paying full price. And it's probably GG. There we go. And now Ashmouth deals two damage to our opponent, and we win. Brutal. Just brutal. We got there against Marta Midrange. What do you think about that match? Um, That was pretty fun. I mean, I did win, so I guess I have a biased opinion of how it went. But I would love to hear from you down below what you thought about the match, two games that you watched. And yeah, and anything else, as usual, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy my content in general, please subscribe and hit that notification bell down below. Those few clicks go a really long way in helping others find my content and helps my channel grow. 
Follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Share my content on social media. That also helps others find their way to my videos and spreads the word even further. And of course, if you like making money, check out my Patreon page. The link is in the description of this video. In particular, check out the Patreon Rewards Program. Basically, it works like this. You give me your Patreon dollars every month. I buy and open up sealed product on this channel using those dollars. And I send you back that money at the end of every year in the form of rares and mythics. You get one non-bulk rare or mythic for every consecutive month you've been a patron. And every card is worth anywhere between $3 and $15. But I mean, even if you lowball it at an average of 5 bucks per card, you're at the very least getting your money back. But odds are you're getting even more. There are a lot more details on my patron page, so check it out. Thanks and have a good one.